This is the plate of David Callis. He says he's the victim of a hit and run and is here today seeking justice from the defendant who's a menace to society. He watched her hit his side view mirror with her shopping cart and when he confronted her, she pressed on the gas and attempted to run him over. He then fell hard into a parked car hitting his head. He was rushed to the hospital. His vision is now affected, and he's here suing this insane person for the $405.96 he's owed. This is the defendant, Haya Cohen. She says the plaintiff is the one with a screw loose because not only did he falsely accuse her of damaging his car, he slapped her, then lied to the cops, claiming she ran him over. This guy's a lying opportunist, seeking one thing and one thing only, money. She's accused of hitting and running. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. <clears throat> <clears throat> Litigants have been affirmed, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay. Mr. Callis. Yes, ma'am. You, uh, your car was parked on a it, street parking, correct? Correct. And what did you witness happen? As I'm approaching my car on the opposite side of the sidewalk, I observed this lady pushing the, the supermarket cart toward probably her car. Behind my, my car. So she's in the middle of the street with the supermarket She car. was walking on the middle of the street. Not okay. in the middle, but on the right, side, right, on right. the street itself. And I observed as she adjusted and walked forward, approached my car, that supermarket cart pulled to the right. She hit my mirror and she broke it. All right, we have a diagram up here. I'd like you to come to it a moment and maybe show me with the cars, and we actually have a little cart replica. Um, so you can make any car you want her car and then make the other car your car. Okay. Take a look here's at where my, here's my car is 4th Avenue M. That's correct, and the defendant's car over there. And that car, is that your car behind the defendant's car? Correct. Okay. And then you see no. where the, hand him the shopping cart. And All right, so tell me what you saw. Over here. As she was walking, she hit the car, the mirror. Okay. She adjusted the cart and walked to her car. Okay. And then where were you coming out of? I'm, I came out of, can I draw on this one? You can draw on it, okay. but you can just tell This me. over here is a supermarket, a huge supermarket. She was ahead of me about a few steps. You can go ahead and go back to the lectern. Okay. So tell me about your first contact with her. You cross the street, and what do you say to her? I crossed straight to her. And said? And said, ma'am, you just broke the mirror of my car. And what does she gotta say? You got to pay for it. And what does she say? And she said, you are a liar. It's not true. I didn't hit the car. I, she said, I didn't hit the mirror, and then she said, the mirror was broken. And then what happens? Then I said, I will take the video of you and the car, and I will sue you. Okay. She came over, she knocked the video, the, the smartphone off my hand. And she knocked the smartphone out of your hand? Correct. How? She sm smacked did my hand. Did you drop it? Yeah. And did it break? I can't prove it, but it stopped working properly. I had, I needed to buy another one. I can't prove it. Okay, and uh, then what happened? Then she loaded the the merchant the merchandise in her car. She has a, a SUV. In meanwhile, she hopped in the car, started the engine, and as I'm taking the video, she f pulled forward. She hit me. Where did, where did the car hit you? In my knees. Okay. She hit me and I fell backward. Now backward when means- When you fall backwards, do you fall totally on the ground or? No. Okay. There was another car parked in between her car and the other car in front of her. Okay. And I fell on that car. In meanwhile, there are spectators, many of them. Okay. Some of them started screaming at her Ma'am, you, can you can't overrun someone that you don't like. Another one says, okay, let's call 911. Who called 911? 
is spectators. I don't know who. Okay. And as I'm taking the video clip on the entire situation and I'm great pain, she backed off, pulled this away, and ran away. Okay. At that moment, the first responders arrived and they took care of me. Okay, so did, you, did they take you to the hospital? Yes, ma'am. Can I see your hospital records? I'm afraid I don't have it. Well, what did they do to you at the hospital? X-ray med and medication. Did they find anything on the X-ray? They found the damage in my knees. I'd like to see the X-ray that shows damage to your they knees. They never gave it to me. I asked for a couple well, of All you have to do is ask for it for them to I asked for it. They never so just show me the, the, the medical reports that you leave the hospital with that talk about damage to your knees being found in an x-ray. While you're looking for that, let me talk to you. What happened? I, my trunk was already, I wasn't driving an SUV. I was driving a minivan. Did I you was, hit his, with your cart, did you hit his mirror? No. I weigh 120 pounds with my clothing. I don't care what you weigh. You're wielding a, a, a cart. Little... I've seen the damage a cart can do. Your I weight a... is, is not, and stop being a show off. I'm, no, not, I'm just a kidding. <laughs> not a show I meant about the weight. Oh, no, no, Go no. Ahead. I'm just trying to say. It was I a thought, joke. I thought Go he ahead. was Go saying ahead. that I physically, I didn't know if he was saying that the wagon. He says that you were wielding a cart with okay. groceries, and that's how it knocked okay. the mirror off. Even a 120 pound lightweight can do that. I showed him his car mirror. And the, I said to him very clearly, there was black tape and look like gummy, we call it, like rubber. Did surrounding. you take a picture of it? Yes. Can I see your picture of his mirror? Mm-hmm. The cars that from that year were made with mirrors that were solid. It was like, it was like black tape glue. And I showed him. I'm he gonna need you to come up and show me what you're saying. Ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Right in this corner, please. We went over to his car and there was like, my husband's a witness, so he went back to see the car, but he took these pictures I didn't, I was too shaken up. There was like black tape here and on Where's the black tape? Show it to me. I, yeah, I can't glue. show it to you. It was glue, like, like. Okay, just show me the glue, that's what I'm asking. It okay. was here, black. No, okay, do you see it and should I be seeing it? I don't know if you could see it, but you could ask my husband. Do you see it in the picture, yes no, or no? No, not clearly. Okay, do you see it? It's the same picture. Unclearly, okay. Go ahead picture. and go back and let me have your husband come over. Sir, come on up, please. Judge, you know, Hold on he one wasn't second, there. Please. He wasn't there. He shouldn't be here in, in the courtroom in the first place. I'll be the judge of that. Did you go to the scene afterwards to take After a picture? After I told her that she was so distressed, I told her to come home and I would go. But did, so you took this picture? I took this picture. Okay. And, and this is your car, right? This is my car. Okay. So I apparently he was there. All right. So this is this is this is like a glue type residue that was. That That's was, what is this the body of the car? No, this is the body of the car. This is the mirror. But why would there be glue holding the mirror on the body of the car? I like don't, what would that? this because this this is this goes this triangle goes into right. here. Right. Well, what would glue do be doing on the door that, that would hold, hold the triangle up there? Was it I, apparently it was it was a mirror that was that was off from before. Well, no, th there's nothing about the picture that apparently okay. tells me that, I guess. But I so, want to understand. So I want to understand what you're saying. I, I don't know this conclusively. This is my impression of what it looks like when I took the pictures. Gotcha. Go ahead Sorry. and go Thank back. You. Thank you. All right. Um, have you ever had to repair that mirror in the past? No. You want to be honest about this. No. I am honest. You know, okay. I will have you been the original owner of, before, have you been the original owner of the car? From the beginning. Okay. So now, when she hits you. They hit the car. Say it again. She didn't hit me, they hit the, the, the mirror. She didn't hit you? No, you say that when she hit me, she didn't hit me, she hit the car. You told me her car ran into your knees and that oh, you. Oh, okay, fine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did she I... hit you or didn't she hit you with her car? Ma'am, I thought that you're still concentrating on the mirror. Okay, when she hits, I, I would think that the bigger event in your head would be that she, there was a hit and run. So she, she hits you with her car mm -hmm. and the two of you are arguing out there. Each of you is videoing the other one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Um, let me look. This is you, right? Yeah. Who are you talking to there? Um, probably a witness. I don't know. I can't really what see. What are you telling her? Or is it a he or she? I have no idea. 
Well, you were there. Who else am I going to ask? I can't, I can't see. I have no idea. <laughs> well, then move up so you can see because this couldn't be clear. This is super, super clear. I don't know why you can't see. Okay, okay so I guess this appears Hold to be Hold on. Let me call. play a little more of it. I didn't play enough, maybe. She is a witness. Did she hit me? A woman in a black car. We missed the whole portion of the, of the part, which was that I simply told him that I wanted to leave, had children to pick up from school, and he refused to allow me into my car over there on the street. Okay. And I said to him, I must get home. I gently pushed him, maybe not so gently. I said, please Wait, move from my car. Him. Why'd you push him? He was blocking my car door from getting into my car door. And I wasn't- He was blocking your car door. I okay. said, you want to sue me? Whatever you want to do, gladly So how did do. you push him? I pushed him. Could I try on you? Yes, sure. that's I exactly- went, please move from my car. <laughs> okay. Maybe I did a little bit harder. Move from my car. Okay. I want to get to my kids. Okay. Finally, I ran around to the other side. I said, mm, let me get to the other side of my car and get inside. And then that way, he'll move because he was blocking my driver's side. Wait a minute. In between that, he slapped me heavily. He slapped me. Slapped you? Slapped me. In the I face? Have... Show me how he slapped you. Do it to my baby. Oh, on your body, not in the face. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Really, I'm really this sorry. Happened, but it was hard. You it him. was hard. Is this right after you push him? Like a this reflex? was right after I pushed him. Yeah. He went like this really hard. So, well, that was first you pushed him and then he reacted, well, even according to your own I, testimony. I would. I think that if you had children, you had to get home to him. The man was making up a false report and then he was saying that I hit him with you his You know car. what? I can, I can tell you what I would do. I would wait. So. I would wait. I don't have time. Okay, no, 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 no. You know what? You do have time. You think you don't have time, okay. but you do have time. You don't push a man, and then, and then he slaps you. Those are all really bad examples for right. your children. So really, the children are not, like, in danger of having a piano children fall on their dead. head. Stop. You don't have some emergency. You're not a, in life. So this is all about your attitude sure. and his attitude with sure. each other. Sure. Go ahead. Got into my car and sat there. Figured it gentleman's going to move because I have to get out. Now, in all this time, the car has never moved from that parking spot on Avenue M. It has never physically moved. I got back out of my car, and that's when I proceeded to take my video of him showing. He starts screaming me that I heard him now. Okay, hold now on one I second. Let me see that video because oh I want to put that video on. Mm -hmm. Is that your car? Yes. And that's okay, that car is starting to come out. It's not parallel. So you did move the car. That's no. your car, the gray car, right? Right. Yeah. That's not how you parked, I hope. So, um, yeah, you did. started to come out, and the car did move, right? Sir, you see that, right, husband? Yeah, yeah okay. I'm taking pictures of him. I so you're know. taking pictures so of him. I'm taking pictures of him because he's telling him I heard him, and I'm saying you're perfectly fine where I, I didn't hurt you. I'm, didn't touch I, I, I'm not denying that. We're going to get oh, into wait, all wait, that wait, in a wait, moment, wait. but I do. Back your up. statement that you hadn't moved the car is not accurate. All right, so you want me to back up? For one second at the tip of the end, the last, I don't know how many seconds it is. So he's standing perfectly fine. As he hears the sirens, if you watch the video carefully, all of a sudden he goes like this. I know, that's why I wish you had not, you, I, I did see that, and I wish you had not stopped taping. Why did you stop at that very second? I don't know. Okay, I, I thought the same thing so to myself, that, that, that was an odd yeah, action You're not upon because hearing she ran the, away. Just a moment, sir, that that's an odd action upon hearing the sirens. He all of a sudden was like this. Now he okay. Was, you can now, see my face is uh, in pain. Is it? At this point, according to you, she has hit you with her car, correct? You can see right away here, the, 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 the friend. Yeah. I'm asking you, at the, go ahead and, and have her go back to her yeah. spot. Thank you. When she hit you with her car, what, her car hit your knees. And what happened? Did you fall down on the ground? No. Okay. Uh, the car behind, uh, it was behind you me. You fell in into the car her. behind? Is there a person sitting in that car? Because yes. she's talking to somebody. Yes. Where is that person to testify here today about what happened? Nobody wanted. I asked people to be my witness. Nobody wanted to get involved. And I would, regarding to your question before, why my... Did the my, police talk to her? Sorry? Did the police talk to that No, witness? the police came to the uh, hospital because she was on the way. Nobody to talk to. So. What happened to the police reports from that day? Why are there no police reports from that day? Because the police weren't there before he was taken away. There was no police. Ah, okay. Also, so what I see here I, is, I, hold on, folks, please. About you take this video of the, um, of the broken window. The car, have right. broken next mirror. to a supermarket across the street. And I'm coming back. And driver's side mirror was taken by a lady with a shopping cart. Okay, I'm disconnecting. Okay, let's, uh, 
see this one through. So you now hear sirens, right? You hear the sirens mm -hmm. that I hear, right? Mm -hmm. She's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. She's running. She's a runaway. So why do you leave <laughs> when the when the sirens are going? Why would that be the moment you pick to leave? It's a rhetorical question. Put your hands down. She's running away. Look at this. She hit and run. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Um, why aren't you suing for your broken knees or whatever it is you say she did to your knees that x-rays would show if in fact the car hit you? Welcome back to the People's Court. The plaintiff is saying the defendant tried running him over with her car after her shopping cart hit and broke his car side mirror. But would the defendant have to pay for the plaintiff's medical bills if he tripped instead? Let's go back into the courtroom. She's being sued. Uh, no, you're suing for the side mirror and you're suing for a new pair of glasses, which we're going to talk about in a second. You're not suing here for any personal injuries. Do That's you mean correct. in another courtroom she's su being sued for that? I'm having a lawyer who takes uh, the case against her for injury, for uh, loss of wages, and whatever comes up according to the law and, uh, and uh, what, uh, what the, the suit today is for the insurance company that denied the, the damage she caused. Okay. And new glasses. Tell me about the new glasses that you're suing for. Once I fell backward on the car, and I didn't feel the fact that uh, my vision get blurred because of the heat of the back of my head. And... So you're after, suing here today because you had to uh, get new glasses because your vision got worse and it's her fault. That's correct. Can you prove that it's her fault by showing me any medical records that talk about a head injury you had and or uh, your ophthalmologist or optometrist report that says that due to a head injury, you need new glasses of $129? Can you prove what you're saying? I went to the, the uh, Milan Optic. It's a big store that have a doctor, an eye doctor on premises. Do you have premises. any re records from the doctor suggesting that a head injury is what caused your, your, your vision that uh, prescription to change? Do you have I that? I requested. Yes uh, or no, do you have it? I don't have it because okay, I was well, never granted. That's where you'd need it because you would need it to prove the things you were saying. I told All him, right. I proved him, I showed him the, the, the court case. No, no, And listen. I wasn't given. Okay, then you don't have it. Then you can't prove that you need new glasses because of her. Okay, so now the cost of the side mirror um, two hundred and seventy-six dollars and ninety-six cents. That that was what de was denied. Have you gotten anything repaired with the mirror? The mirror, yes. The mirror has been replaced and repaired. May because I? I who replaced it? The page number one. Had did this the, same company replace it? Yeah, there's a garage. Okay, and how how did you pay them? Credit card. Okay. All right. What page did you want to add, ma'am? Um. It said, we are pleased to announce you're advising that the claim filed for the above reference loss. We have completed our investigation, denied liability. And so the, the insurance claimant. company denied liability. All right. Denied. Now, of course, I'm not bound by what the insurance company Of course decides. not. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to say? If someone walks over and says, you hit me, and I didn't hit them. I'm, I, I'm gonna, I, I, you know I, what I do? What? Stay. Stay safely in my car until the authorities come, tail my side, and then I leave. Right. I don't think I the, call you and you go pick up the kids. Okay. I'm not right? sure the police that, ever came. That, that's probably you. Oh, please. I don't know. Those sirens are pretty loud. I don't want to hear from anybody anymore. Um, I, I, I know what happened here. I'm going to tell you what happened in case there's any, you know, misconception on anybody's part what happened. You had a shopping cart. You hit the mirror. You broke that mirror. You weren't hit by that car. If you were, you were kissed by the car. You do not have knee injuries or you would have brought them to me. There's not gonna be some big old lawsuit for the horrible damage you did it because he's on video, perfectly fine, but angry. Because what this case is about is anger that each of you were playing quien es mas macho. May I answer, My, No, you can't. I just want to apologize I, now, to No, no, let me tell you what's no, gonna happen now. Him. No, no, let just me tell you what's gonna happen now. Both of you are gonna clam up and I'm gonna rule. I don't find that there's any evidence that she owes you for new glasses. I believe that in fact you did witness her hitting your mirror. I don't believe that what you've shown me shows a prior repair. There is adhesive that is there to begin with when the mirror is up there. I am going to order, just like you said, oh, so sue me if I hit your mirror. That doesn't sound like somebody who doesn't think she hit the mirror. $276.76, verdict for the plaintiff.
So in this incident that obviously got way out of hand, the, the judge has determined that you got to pay for his mirror, $276. Mm -hmm. Anything more you want to say about what happened and what you would do? No, if I this do. I do feel sorry again? for him, but I really, I really believe that it has to stop because he's pursued me and pursued me and pursued me. And I just wanted to apparently stop. Apparently, he's still pursuing you. Well, he's got a lawyer. Well, she just said on. Well, well, they, we know that he has a lawyer because yeah. Geico told me, and they threw out the court, the case. No, but I mean, he's got a lawyer now. That well, he could. This could be going on for a while. Well. So we will refer back to this where she said that okay. he's making a mumble out of a jungle. Sorry about that. Good luck to you. Thank you so much. I hope this much. happens again. You know, Thank you. Thank stay you. in the car. Great day. Don't go away. All right. Mr. Callis. Yes, sir. You tried to get a lot. You, you didn't bring enough documents. You should have brought the hospital documents with you. That would have helped, you know? That's true. Yeah. So anyway, what do you think? You were trying to get a lot more things from the judge, but you get 276 bucks. It's not the point. The point is that at the beginning, I tried to resolve, and the judge agreed. I said, you got to pay for the mirror. And she came over, and she knocked my phone out of my hand. Yeah. And they were lying on the right, on the left, and I was not permitted to correct them. And I requested five times, and I was denied. Okay. That's the, that's the bottom line. And I'm really dis disappointed. I, don't, I believe that it was not a fair hearing. All right, sir, you're entitled to your opinion. Did you get money to repair the, the mirror, though? And I hope you do that. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. So, Doug, here's the thing. He needs to show proof with an expert that there is some link between this injury and his vision. That requires expert testimony. Without expert testimony, you just can't win.